it's Ron Nemo, Pomona's manager of grounds and landscaping. I'm here to ask you 47 questions. Are you game? You bet. What does the manager of grounds and landscaping do? Well, what I do is I provide uh, guidance and landscape leadership to uh, 18 professional gardeners, groundskeepers that work for uh, Pomona College on the variety of maintaining plants, trees, shrubs, hardscape, athletic fields, anything outside of Pomona College buildings, I may help them maintain it. Tell us about your favorite space here on campus. My favorite space is the Greek theater. Can you show us? You bet. What do you like so much about it? Well, I got different varieties of plants, like the smoke tree over here, uh, some carpet roses over there, tolensins, uh, some other plants. Uh, uh, Toyon is a native species of uh, California. Um, also, the uh, Greek theater sets up and has uh, Shakespeare events uh, in the summer like they're setting up for right now. Which is your busiest time of the year? Winter, spring, summer, or fall? Spring. Why is that? Flowers are blooming. Uh, students are graduating, so there's a lot of energy in the air. So it's kind of a happy time of the year. Um, and, the, and the weather's pretty nice, too. How long have you worked at Pomona? I've worked at Pomona uh, since 1997, uh, about 22 years, something like that. What's your favorite part of the job? My favorite part of the job is seeing the end result of landscape maintenance, such as mowing, blowing the sidewalk, and picking up trash, too. It's really nice. What's your least favorite part? Uh, least favorite part of the job is managing my guys sometime when they're not feeling so good. <laughs> what time do you start work in the morning? I start at uh, 7 a.m., 7 o'clock a.m. Are you naturally a morning person or a night person? Naturally a mor morning person. I uh, like the cool weather. It's just a better time to do uh, landscape maintenance in the morning instead of hot in the afternoon. How many hours do you spend outdoors each day? Six to seven hours. And what's the best thing about working outdoors? The environment. Uh, you know, working outdoors, you get to hear the wind blow. You get to hear the trees, you know, go through the wind. Uh, sometimes you see uh, raccoons, uh, coyotes, red-tailed hawks. Uh, uh, just the overall environment about being outside. And what's the worst thing about working outdoors? The worst thing about working outside, I'd say, uh, when it gets uh, really hot. And why do we always see you in a golf cart? You always see me in a golf cart because the college is 140 acres and I need to be in certain areas at certain times, and I manage 18 gardeners. Would you like to go for a ride? Would love to. Here we go. How much time do you spend on the golf cart each day? Uh, well, I don't have a speedometer, but usually uh, one to two hours a day. What's the strangest thing you've ever carried in a golf cart? Strangest thing was I had a caged possum that we had caught. What do you have planned for today? Well, I'm going to do some inspections of the campus, look for anything out of the ordinary, um, and answer any questions my guys have today. Name one thing you can't live without. Water. What's one thing you're absolutely worst at? Uh, remembering people's names unless I've known you for a while. Who's the funniest person you know other than yourself? Well, I got a couple. Uh, James Corden, Kevin Hart, Sergio Entertainer, uh, Cecil Sajan. If you could eat only one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, pizza, meat lovers. What's the best thing you know how to cook? Um, I'm pretty good at starting a barbecue, so steak, Chicken wings, you know, carne asada, stuff like that. I'm pretty good at that. What's the best book you've read recently? I haven't read any books lately, but mainly publications about best management practices on how to uh, lead your guys out in the landscape world. Which would you rather watch? A horror movie, a comedy, or a French film with subtitles? Uh, definitely a comedy. 
Who's your favorite comic book character? Uh, I like uh, Batman and Spider-Man. What's one thing you wish you had more time for? Um, RVing with my family. What's one cause you care deeply about? Um, yeah, I'm a little concerned about homelessness. Um, I think the United States is one of the richest countries in the world and there's homelessness. What's one thing about you that people would be surprised to learn? Um, I actually got two tattoos and I didn't get them until I was 50 years old and married 25 years. What's one skill you wish you had, but don't? I uh, wish I could play a musical instrument. Harmonica, maybe? <laughs> How old are your kids? Uh, let's see, if I get this wrong. Uh, 24, she's a math teacher. 27 is my son. He actually works here for the college. And 33 is the oldest. And she works for UC Riverside. What do you want most for your kids? Uh, to be independent, uh, critical thinkers, and be able to take care of themselves uh, at the end of the day. Hey, Ron, what's that tree over there? Over there? Oh, let's go see. Yeah, there it is right there, a cinnamon camphor tree. This is probably one of the oldest trees on uh, Pomona College campus, uh, in excess of over 60 feet tall. Got a spread of probably over 40 feet, but it's probably one of the oldest. And the uh, diameter at breast height, and that's how you measure how big a tree is, is over, over five feet for sure. How many different kinds of trees are there on campus? Well, there's 172 species of trees, and the total count is I manage about more than 3,500 trees. And which one's your favorite? Uh, my favorite tree is the uh, Quercus aquifolia or a coast live oak. And how many kinds of plants are there here in Marston Quad? Marston Quad has at least 40 plus different species of plants at the quad. Is it true that there's a Shakespeare garden on the quad with every plant mentioned in his plays? I, yes, there, that Shakespeare uh, garden, I've read it. it. Most of the plants are here, but I'm sure that some aren't here. Uh, they just didn't make it. Where did you learn so much about trees and plants? Uh, 1978 Burkhardt Nurseries when I was in high school. Uh, I was fortunate enough to where uh, one of my colleagues I played football with, uh, his parents owned a tree nursery or a regular nursery, Burkhardt. And uh, I would go there and uh, maintain the plants. And when I got plant deliveries, they'd have names on them, petunias, pansies, raphiolipsis. Uh, that's how I learned my plants. What do you wish everybody knew about trees and plants? I would say that they're living organisms and they actually want to live, but we got to help them out when we put them in the ground the first couple of years. Do you do any gardening at home? Oh, yes, I do. What's one piece of advice, of advice you'd offer home gardeners? Home gardeners, my piece of advice would be, first of all, you got to have a plan and figure out what you want to do. And then after that, make sure you maintain the weeds. When you're not working, what do you like to do? I like going RVing with my family, uh, bike riding, uh, actually sitting at home watching ESPN Sports. What's your biggest fear in life? Biggest fear in life? Not having enough money for retirement. That, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> What's the most adventurous thing you've ever done? Uh, I repelled out of a, a helicopter when I was in the Army in 1980s. So I'd say repelling. What's one thing you wish you'd known in high school? that life is short. What will your dream job be? <laughs> dream job? Actually make money without working, but that's the dream, right? So I don't know, Give me one, make, let me get make 300,000. If you could have a superpower, <laughs> what would it be? Uh, I would be uh, invisible and the ability to make money. <laughs> what well, is one thing do you want to be remembered for? Uh, that I am a steward of the land. I care about the environment. Um, I'm people oriented. I, I'm a pretty much optimist. I wish the best for most people. And what's the best thing about working at Pomona? Uh, the environment and Pomona College has dynamic, uh, fabulous people to work for. Uh, they have character, they care. 
and that's why I like being here. Thanks, Ron. Thank you, and you guys have a nice day.